All right, so you have to nail the magic moment. If you don't nail the magic moment, this isn't going to feel like magic. And it's going to take a lot longer than a moment. See, I'm not a fan of great big blockbuster movie kind of things, or people chanting for hours, or creating scenes that take forever, or trying to cram everything you want into one scene, or making one scene so big because you don't want to leave anything out. End of line. So, we sent out the email this morning, and, and Lewis, Lewis had three important wishes, and they were all related. And the problem with three important wishes that are all related is it's often hard for most people to try to imagine them separately. And they feel overwhelming when you try to imagine them all at once. And so what we shared with Lewis, what we shared in the email this morning was the magic moment. Because when you nail the magic moment, you know, it really does take just a moment. And it really does become magic. But we're going to add one thing in in this podcast today. And we're going to send this out to the uh, list as well. Because this is important. And we're going to begin with a quote of Neville's. And I want you to notice how nostalgia fits in. Because this is, to me, one of the most important manifesting feelings ever. So, the scenario is this. Neville decides it's time to go home. He's got a tour coming up, right? You know, Neville actually toured. He charged money and he toured. Some people don't like that Neville did things and charged money for things. But that's all right. You know, everyone's got their own issues. Neville didn't have those. But Neville wanted to go home. And his brother said, are you nuts? You came here and didn't book passage home? It'll take you months and he goes to the office and they said, it's going to take us months to get you on a boat. So Neville went back to the hotel or a home or his bedroom, wherever he went. And he imagined walking up the gangplank. And every time his mind wondered, well, let's join in the quote. Ready? Each time my mind wondered, I brought it back again until I realized the top, until I reached the top, turned and holding the side of the ship. I looked back nostalgically at the island of Barbados, for now we were sailing. This is really important, gang. Each time my mind wondered, your mind will wonder when you feel it real. He brought it back again until he reached the top, turned, holding the side of the ship, and looked back nostalgically at the island of Barbados. You notice he didn't have a 10-minute imaginal act. It was walking up the gangplank, and nailing it had him reach the top, turn, hold the side of the ship, and look back nostalgically on the island of Barbados. He says in just a matter of moments, the phone rang, and the agent told him that because of a cancellation they just received from America that his passage was available. They could leave by the date that he had envisioned. You see, this is what's so cool, gang. Whenever you find that moment of magic, and that moment of magic, one of the secrets that Victoria and I have found by playing with this, you know, we've been together 12 years now. And me doing this is what brought us together. Me doing this is what had us meet. And then had us, against all odds, get together and stay together. Because a long-distance romance from around the world, you know, involving citizenship and all that stuff, it, that can get a little hairy. But it doesn't have to. Each time my mind wondered, I brought it back again until I reached the top, turned, and holding the side of the ship, I looked back nostalgically at the island of Barbados. There's this feeling of nostalgia. With nostalgia, the problems are all behind you. You'll notice Neville didn't imagine how could it possibly happen. He imagined Nostalgia. Looking back at the memories. Looking back at the adventures he had. Looking back. There's a warmth that comes with nostalgia. You'll notice here that he holds on to the side. He imagines holding the side of the ship. God, this reminds me of the streetcar method. That isn't what he did there, 
But I find that when people realize the value of the of intimacy, nostalgia and intimacy seem to walk hand in hand. You'll notice when people walk hand in hand, there's intimacy. See, you don't gotta see two people boinking to know they're intimate. But you can tell if two people are holding hand in hand in an intimate way. Neville holds on to the side of the ship while nostalgically looking back. There's intimacy there. So many people are scared by the facts. They try to figure out all the facts of how it's going to happen and they try to force it all, make it an act of will. And Neville Goddard said this is not an act of will, this is an act of surrender. So persist does not equal push. So persist equals float, dream-driven dares. You know this. Nostalgia. That's when you know you have the magic moment. And in today's email, the thing that I sent out with that was this. Looking back, so the three issues had to deal with, you know, you know the just like my situation. And when you can look back, not at the problem, not at the solution, but that, hey, there was an old way of life where I was a visitor. There was an old way of life where I worked. There was an old way of life. And what we did was we gave life to a new opportunity. Neville gave life to a, the opportunity to go teach. She's like me, just loved it. I just love teaching. <laughs> I live for this. I had a computer problem yesterday. God, it, uh, I, the thing that bothered me the most was I was wasting time dealing with tech shit instead of teaching. I love teaching. So here's what I want you to do. Nostalgia. There's a magic moment where you look back at what the way your life was. Could be like Neville. Yep, I had a great time in Barbados, but I'm glad to be going home. Could be... Well, you know, I look back at the old country. I've got a lot of fond memories. We just call it nostalgia. I even have nostalgia about, you know, the first year and a half or so we were together. We had to go through a lot of bullshit. But I can look back at that with a giggle. God, we cleared so many vines off the property. The trees, just scrub. Had so many little bonfires. Started renovating the mud brick mansion in the cottage. See, all, I can look back at that all with nostalgia. Because nostalgia is king. You notice how it eliminates the war? And it reveals the love. If you got gold today, nevillegoddardstore.com. There's a couple things I mentioned today. Secrets of Surrender comes to mind. You know if you're surrendering or not. <laughs> the other one is the streetcar method. System, sorry, the streetcar system. That is such a brilliant one. Both of those really eliminate war. And you'll notice Neville didn't go to war when his mind wandered. He didn't go to war against the machine. Oh, they should bear away to get tickets instantly. He didn't go to war at all. If you're done with war, NevilleGoddardStore.com. Go there, take a peek around, get them goodies. Have a lovely day. My name is Mr. 2020. It is Sunday, October 16th, 6.57 a.m. Uh, oh, boy. And tomorrow we've got the first Dream Driven Day call for the October Dream Driven Day team. Can't wait. See ya.